Hey everybody, a Retro Geek Dad here, back with another toy review. This time we are looking at the Tony Stark AI Iron Man from the Marvel Legends Mr. Hyde Build-A-Figure series. I picked this up at Target for about $19.99. Um, I picked it up, this is the kind of the classic Iron Man armor. Uh, it's one of my favorite armors. But uh, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Now this has got uh, Tony Stark as a hologram in the armor. Instead of the actual Tony Stark, it's just kind of a hologram. They did that with one of the storylines in the comics. But um, here on the back, kind of gives a little description uh, about, you know, why he's in there. Uh, kind of show that. And down here on the bottom, we have the rest of the wave. And uh, build a figure of Mr. Hyde. A lot of the legal stuff at the bottom. And here we have the UPC code. Uh, same picture on the other side. So we'll go ahead and we're going to open up Iron Man. Take a quick look and review him. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open Iron Man up. Um, I'll just cut the tape on the side here. Here we have Iron Man, and he comes with the Build-A-Figure leg, the Tony Stark hologram head, and the regular Iron Man helmet. Uh, two alternate hands with the repulsor, repulsor blast. So, it's pretty cool. I'll go ahead and take him out. Now, there's no, uh, there's none of the rubber bands. For this one okay that's out I'm gonna adjust the camera there we go so let's see. there we go so here is Iron Man and there's a lot of articulation here. Um, the shoulders, you know, they move back and forth. They kind of click in place a little bit, so he'll hold a pose. But there is a joint there. There's a twist there. And there is a double joint in the elbow. The wrist turns and rocks. There's a, a rocker joint there. And... The head is on a ball joint, and it also pivots up and down. There is a chest rocker there. The waist turns, and the legs turn. Now these pieces right here, his side pieces, there is no hindrance of the joint movement there. And they're just attached by, it looks like just a little piece of plastic. But there is a thigh rotation. And the legs have a double joint. And there's rotation there. And in the legs. And there is a rocker in the ankles. And the joints all kind of feel like they, they click. So as far as like holding a pose, that should be pretty good. But uh, I'll go ahead and swap out the head. That just pops off. Pop that on. It's a little easier getting off. Okay, so it is kind of difficult to get the Iron Man head on. But we are going to do our best here. There we go. Alright, so the head is very difficult to change. I don't know if it's just this one or if they're in general. But uh, 
we did get the head changed and definitely looks better with the Iron Man helmet right, let's see if we can get the hands changed maybe they won't be as bad make sure we put the right one on okay so the hands actually are a lot easier to pop on and off so he kind of has the hands shooting out and the repulsor blasts are just on a peg and they just stick in there like that so that's pretty cool I really like this figure uh, I like how the joints kind of click so you can hold poses. The only thing I didn't like was how difficult it was to get this head on there. But like I said, it might have just been, you know, this particular figure. There is, right here on this bolt, there's a little bit where the paint missed the mark. But other than that, I don't really see any, you know, defects in the paint or application. But all in all, it's a really cool figure. It's one of my favorite Iron Man armors. Um, I really like it. Really cool. Uh, as far as the leg it comes with, that's just uh, the build-a-figure leg for Mr. Hyde. The standard rotation. Uh, just to connect for the rest of the body. But Unless you buy the whole, you know, the whole set... You're just going to be stuck with, you know, just parts. But, uh, not much to say about that. But, there is the Tony Stark head. So, all in all, it's a cool figure. I really like it. You can kind of see the, there's a little bit of a blue hue in the mouth and the eyes. I'm not sure if that's coming through. But it kind of matches the blue for the chest piece. But, uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool figure. I really like it. Um, the only, you know, the only thing I had was about the head. But other than that, really cool. Um, really like it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and we will catch you again next time.